Alice Chapter 4, Lesson 6, If Control Structure. Open the notes document for this lesson and answer the questions as you go through this video lecture. Learning target. I can learn to use if statement in Alice program. I can learn the process flow of an if statement. Simple control structures. A control structure is a programming statement that allows you to control the order in which the instructions are executed. For example, do in order and do together. You have used these control structures in many programs throughout the semester so far. Do in order controls the program by executing the instructions in sequence one after the other. Do together controls the program by making the actions happen at the same time. The two different control structures that we would be using in class is going to be conditional execution using if statement block, repetition using the count statement block. The repetition we would be learning in our next chapter. So right now we would focus on if statement block. If statement. If statement is a very powerful and useful tool in programming. It is used to make a decision in a program based on a condition. A condition will always return a boolean value that is either true or false. The condition can use relational operators for comparison. If statement is also known as a control structure for conditional execution, where a condition is checked and a decision is made whether or not a block of program code will be executed. Process flow if statement. We can use if statements in a process flow diagram to solve a problem. Process flow is a graphical representation of a process to solve a problem. An if control statement is used to check a condition and make a decision. In a process flow diagram, the decision is always in a diamond shaped box. That's what is in here. The diamond shaped box, if we check our condition, if the condition is true, then we do some actions and then finish up the program. Now if our condition is not true, that's false, we do something else and then finish the program. In order to make a decision, we have to have a condition and in our condition, the condition will always evaluate to either true or false. And then based on your result, you would do action for true or you would do some other action for false. Process flow, if statement. Let's take an example. The if statement we have in here is, if it is a holiday today, then I will stay home. Otherwise, I will go to school. Now, the first thing in here is when I take a look at my statement, the condition in here is holiday. So, of course, I'm going to create a diamond shape. And I'm going to check if it's a holiday, if this condition is true, then I would say stay home and then finish the program. If this condition is not true, that means if it is not a holiday, we would go to false and then do something else, go to school and then finish your program. The process flow if statement. Let's take another example. If there is a pond in front of the penguin, it dives in the pond, otherwise penguin keeps walking. We have done this penguin splash program before. We have the penguin and it should walk, 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 walk. And if there's a pond in front, it should dive into the pond, just like this. So when we create our process flow diagram, we are going to start with our diamond shape and we are going to check our condition. And our condition is going to be if pond in front. If this is true, then the penguin will dive into the pond and our program will end. If pond is not in front, that means if this condition is not true, it will go to false and the penguin will keep walking and the program will end. Now you will practice your own process flow for the if statement. Create a process flow for the if statement. If bunny is colliding with the hedge, it moves back and turns. Otherwise, bunny keeps moving. So we have a bunny. We want the bunny to keep moving forward. And if the hedge is in front of the bunny, 
it would move back and then it would turn. The turn could be any direction you like. On your worksheet you have been given the shapes. Now drag the shapes and arrange them in correct sequence so that you can create the process flow for this problem. So pause the video, complete your process flow. Now that you have done your process flow, check your process flow with the answer. If the bunny is colliding with the hedge, if this is true, the bunny will move back and turn half meter left and the program will end. If bunny is not colliding with the hedge, that means this is not true, it would be false and the bunny would keep walking and the program will end. Now you will practice using the if control structure in your Alice program.